Hi everyone, I'm Dyer Oxley, online editor and producer over at KUOW Seattle's NPR station. And I'm here to answer your cool etiquette, your questions, your curiosities, your pet peeves, because these days, manners isn't just about being polite, it's about being hygienic and even saving lives. This week, mask. They're a thing now. Okay, so maybe it's your local government telling you this, maybe it's your favorite store, maybe it's at the airport, but masks are now required at a lot of places, and gloves too. We're going to get into that in a little bit. But as for right now, masks, you're going to see them popping up more and more in public places. So sure, yeah, we're all going to have a few complaints about the mask thing. They do fog up my glasses too, but they are required. Well, actually, they're not really required so much as they are strongly urged for you to wear them. Hey, let's just put it this way. No one's going to be putting handcuffs for not wearing masks out in public, but you should be. And we're going to get into that right now. As always, we are going to be fielding questions from our KUW audience. We're also going to grab some answers from the CDC or experts like Dr. Paul Pottinger over at UW Medicine. First question. Masks are now required. Why? And do they even help? So, again, they're not really required. Everybody's just asking you pretty, pretty please to wear masks while you're going out into the store and on the street. But yes, there is a strong urge for people to be wearing masks, but not for the reasons you might be assuming. So here's the thing. You know that old saying, it's not you, it's me? It's actually you in this case. Masks protect you from infecting other people. The idea is that the droplets that come out of your nose and mouth when you speak, when you sneeze, when you cough, that's gonna get caught in the mask. A lot of people think you wear a mask because you're going to prevent yourself from getting the virus from somebody else. That's part of it, but it's not as much of a big part of it as it is protecting others from you. And as we've covered in previous episodes, people can be asymptomatic as they are carrying this virus around. Another way of thinking about this is that when this virus initially struck Washington, we saw this huge spike in cases. But ever since then, it hasn't really kind of gone down. It's gone down, but it's kind of plateaued, and we haven't been able to get those case numbers down. In order for us to actually do things that we want to do, like go back out to movies. Personally, I really, really want to go back out and play pinball. Maybe you want to go back to work. Maybe you want to fly off and take that trip. Maybe you just need those schools to open so your kids can leave the house. Any way we can get these numbers down is gonna help us all do that. And there's one way to do that. There's one way that contributes to doing that, and that's wearing a mask. Sub question, if you do wear a mask, how often should you be washing it? I asked Dr. Pottinger this over at UW Medicine, and he used the example of your underwear. You know, you wear it once a day and you wash it. Your mask is the same thing. Unless somebody coughs on you, you're gonna wanna wash that right away. But wear your mask once a day and wash it. Okay, moving on, we have two aspects to question two here. I'm gonna read both of them. If I'm walking outside in my neighborhood and there is no one on the block ahead of me and no one on the block behind me, can I safely lower my mask until I see someone approaching? That's an outdoor question. We have an indoor component to this. Another person said, I had an incident at the grocery store when I was waiting to be helped and I was wearing a mask, but another group was not. And every time they moved closer to me, I would give them more distance, but they would move closer to me again. It was very disconcerting. You can catch this virus everywhere, indoors and outdoors, but perhaps it is more difficult to catch it while you are outside rather than inside. So either way, it's that six foot rule. Stay six feet away from people. If you're gonna be anywhere within that vicinity, wear that mask. And here's the other thing to consider while you're wearing this mask. Somebody said that, should I be putting it on and off while I'm walking? Wash your hands, keep them clean, put on your mask. Don't touch it again. Don't take it on and off while you're at the store, while you're out on the street. Don't put it below your neck. They call that the Abe Lincoln. Don't hang it from your ear. That's called the Van Gogh. Don't, you shouldn't be touching your mask. The idea is that the virus can get on your hands and you can be transporting that to your face. If you're messing with your mask, you don't wanna be doing that. So the mask goes on, it stays there until you're done with it. 
Okay, and as for the grocery store thing, this is a little bit of a touchy issue because some people have had confrontations over it. Personally, I don't have a problem turning around and telling people, hey, I'm trying to maintain the six foot distance here. It's not like it's new information. At my grocery store, they have tape on the ground. They have over the loudspeakers, a reminder, stay six feet away. But not everybody is comfortable doing that. When I talked to Dr. Pottinger, he said that if a conversation does come up, you can mention that you're trying not to get them sick, which is technically true. And finally, gloves. Should you be wearing them? Do they even help? I'm just gonna say this. Gloves, no gloves, stop throwing them on the ground. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? It's the grocery store. There's a trash can like right over there. Okay, anyway, as for the gloves thing, the virus does not penetrate your skin, so wearing gloves isn't like it's gonna stop it from infecting you. In fact, a lot of people I've talked to worry about a false sense of security that if you're wearing gloves, you're gonna maybe be more inclined to touch your face. Remember, you don't wanna be touching that mask while it's on your face. And you shouldn't really feel like it's protecting you any more than just say some regular old hand sanitizer or actually washing your hands because that's actually gonna get it off of your hands and keep your hands clean. You're more likely to wash your hands or sanitize them than you are your gloves. So bear that in mind. If you are gonna wear gloves, do not feel any extra sense of security over them. You still have to keep your hands away from your face. You still have to monitor them. And did I mention stop throwing them on the ground? Thank you for watching this episode of Covetikit. Stop throwing your gloves on the ground. And don't forget to subscribe to KUW here. Leave a comment below. We may read it and use it in a future episode of Covetikit. If you'd like to read more information about this topic or any of KUW's coverage on COVID-19, go ahead to KUOW.org. And I will see you next week when we talk about grocery stores.